Grade here with another Worlds of Tank replay. This is on Ensks in my T-150, and wow, did I mangle that name. Uh, this is probably right now my second favorite tank after my Matilda. It's a tier 6, so a little less sealed clubby than the Matilda. Uh, it's in the encounter map, and usually on these, especially with my T-150, I like to brawl in the town. Uh, I'll move over to the 1 2 line, but uh, generally I'll brawl on the 2 3 area. Again, it all depends on uh, what everyone else does. Not everyone knows where they're supposed to go with their tanks, so it's uh, always a challenge. Now the reason I like the T-150 at tier 6 is because I, I just, it, probably because it's I like the Matilda. The T-150 doesn't have the alpha damage that the KV-1S does. Hello, Leopard. Oh, goodbye, Leopard. It doesn't have the alpha damage that the KV-1S does. Uh, it's a bit slower, but it's got much better armor, faster firing gun. Um, which to me feels more like the Matilda. And I do rather well in this tank. I'm lining up on this KV-2, and of course the VK gets tracked right in my uh, right in my shot. I can't risk a shot over his his turret, so I move forward. I try to give him some support, but I think he's pretty much toast at this point. Put one on the side of the KV-2 back out for the reload. Yeah, he was toast. Waiting for that E2 to come forward. He doesn't want to play with me, so I pop out and take out the KV2. At the beginning of the round, he's, he looked at the match and he said, my uh, my crew's gonna feast, and I told him, ah, they'll feast on lead. He didn't get any kills. Pop out. Nail that E2. Wait for the reload, and then uh, finish him off. We started off pretty good, but here's where our team starts uh, losing rounds come through the middle here and I see those tanks off to my right but I'm not sure what's going on there so I look left just to see what's over there I pick up that Hellcat and uh, the T-80 take out the Hellcat he's really the, the more dangerous of the two so I leave the T-80 for my SE-100 and decide to start working on uh, the T-150 and the, I believe there's another Hellkite over here in the cap. There he is. Worried about that Cromwell, but uh, once I see the shot off from the T-150, I pop out for the Hellkite. The so when I realize, uh, where's that T-150? Oh, he's behind me. We bounce off of each other. I get out of the way because I'm showing him my butt. Still worried about that Cromwell, but there's not much I can do with the T-150 around the corner. Of course, he's displaced behind the building, so I back up to uh, to flank him and run into the M3 and the VK. Or not M3 and M6. Take a nasty shot there from the M6, but end up popping him. Got Trying to watch that Crusader.
I just don't like having him behind me because I know he could pop me if given the chance. Fortunately, my PZ goes to engage him. Another bounce off that T-150. Put the SU-100s on him. And we secure the kill. Now here's where I make, I think, with one mistake in this round. Uh, for some reason, I'm chasing this Crusader. I don't know why. I don't know which side he's gone. I'm leaving my SU-100 uh, and the PZ to face off against two BKs. And it's just... It was just silly of me to come around this corner here, because there's no way I'm going to catch that Crusader at all. PZ gets popped. Now that SU's facing off against two BKs. If they flanked him, he would be toast. Fortunately, they're being silly and not flanking. And there's the Crusader. He went around the other way. So I decided to come down here. Hopefully I can make it. They know I'm coming because of the capture circle. Fortunately, that VK was on low health. This lets the SU concentrate on the uh, the other VK. Missed the shot there. Fortunately, he bounces and misses. And I love his name, Noisy Cricket on a Crusader. It was perfect. So I'm waiting for him to pop out. And right about now I realize he's not going to pop out. He's he's going over again. He knows I'm watching. SU and the VK are having a Mexican standoff over there. There's my Crusader. Quick pop on him. Here my teammates are telling the SU to go forward. And he's like, no, 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 no which uh, I appreciate that. Nice shout out to that guy. Because I get the VK and my first ever Radley Walters. So here's the post-game stats. Uh, first off, look at that, the Radley Walters. First time I've ever gotten it. I'm so happy to, to get that medal. Lots of damage on these tanks, lots of kills. Uh, 75,000 coin that is uh, bolstered by the fact that it's the uh, event weekend. Uh, tier 6s get doubled this weekend as well as uh, top damage dealer gets a little bit extra. Top damage dealer also gets a little bit of extra XP so that uh, 37 or 3,700 XP is bolstered a bit by the event. Uh, total damage 2,749 with 8 kills for a uh, baseline XP of 1,442. And again, I have to give a shout out to uh, Martyr B, that SU-100 driver, uh, for not pushing on that VK, even though he could have, uh, and letting me get the uh, Rattley Walters. Here's the detailed shot fired, 16, hit with 15 and pen uh, 14 of them. I think the only bounce was on the other T-150. Um... Half of the shots out on me were bounces. Uh, again, if this was a KV-1S, I probably would have been dead. But uh, the, the armor on this T-150 is quite nice. Uh, received 32,000 coin as a baseline. There's the event. Uh, doubled plus the top damage dealer for another 42,000 grand total of 66 after the resupply. Wonderful, wonderful match on this one. Uh, I... Like I said, I love this T-150. It's my preferred tank in uh, Tier 6 currently. As you can see, I do have a Cromwell and a 3601. Uh, I, I think I prefer the heavies a bit more than the mediums, but uh, this was definitely, so far, my best round in my T-150, and uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing me get my first ever Radley Walters. Have fun!